In this GRE geometry question, we can use the formula, the last step in the formula, and the answer grid to find the right answer and to avoid a predictable mistake. The question asks, what is the perimeter of the rectangle shown above? And the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is 2 times the length plus the width. Can you see the last step in applying this formula? To find the perimeter of a rectangle, we need to find the length and the width and add them together and then multiply by 2. Since the last step in the formula is to multiply by 2, we can look at our answers and find which answer is twice another answer. 28 is twice 14 and 48 is twice 24. This means that our two possible answers are C and E since 28 is twice 14 and 48 is twice 24 and the last step in our formula is to multiply by 2. Now we can check for our right answer by using the rest of the formula. We're already given the width of 6 and so we can subtract 6 from both 14 and 24. If we subtract it from 14 we get 8 and that's a plausible length. But if we subtract it from 24 we get 18, which couldn't possibly be the length since the diagonal of the rectangle is only 10 and the length of the side will have to be shorter. Now we have a width of 6 and a length of 8, but we don't just add those two numbers. We remember the last step in the formula and double everything. A perimeter has two lengths and two widths and so our answer isn't 14, but it's twice 14, which is 28. Now we can see what happens if people look at the triangle first and try to use the Pythagorean theorem to find out what the third side of the triangle is. Because a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and they think they should use this formula first. They can substitute. 6 for a and 10 for c and have 6 squared plus b squared equals 10 squared. That means that 36 plus b squared equals 100. So that means that b squared equals 100 minus 36. So b squared equals 64 which means that b equals 8, and that's our length. So the Pythagorean theorem gives us a right triangle with sides of 6, 8, and 10, which, by the way, has a perimeter of 24. Would you like to pick b? Or maybe you can pick two triangles and pick 48. Both answers are in the answer grid in case you make this predictable mistake. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. No one makes things easier.